Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm here with my friend Ariana and this is the look I'm gonna show you how to achieve. It's inspired to the autumn uh, makeup of 2014 with burgundy lips. I'm starting with the L'Oreal True Match foundation in the color beige and I'm applying it with a dual fiber brush from MAC in a number 130. Really buffing it into the skin. Once I finish applying the foundation, I pass into the brows, so I'm just combing it upwards and I'm gonna define them with the fluid line from MAC in the color Deep Down. I start from the uh, arch of the brows because this is our strongest and darkest points of the brows and then I'm gonna work outwards towards the outside corner and defining the ending part of the brows and then with what's left on the brows without deepening again because we want it very natural I'm gonna define the beginning of the brows and buffing the product upwards and we wanna do a line underneath and buff the product towards uh, the upper part to make everything more natural and soft I'm gonna still comb the brows up and I'm concentrating especially in the beginning now, as a primer, I'm gonna use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I am buffing it all over the eyes with the Real Techniques uh, Deluxe Crease Brush. This is gonna make our eyeshadow last longer and also the color is really gonna pop out. <laughs> so after a few attempts we called the, the um, uh, lashes because Ariana was really scared and now from my MAC eyeshadow palette I'm taking this burgundy color which is called Deep Damson and lately is really one of my favorite eyeshadow I'm using a lot it just takes a while to build up because it's a matte eyeshadow we need to layer it a few times so that's basically what I'm gonna do now on a soft uh, eyeshadow brush I'm just layering the color uh, with a lot of patience While I keep layering the shadow, um, I am also gonna blend it and I'm gonna use a clean brush from MAC, this is the 217 blending brush and I'm gonna blend the color upwards towards the brows so this is gonna give us a really soft effect in a kind of a smoky eye look. To add some light to the eyes, I'm gonna use this uh, shimmery pearly vanilla eyeshadow from my Cryolan palette and I'm gonna use it under the brows and into the inner corner of the eyes just to make them pop and make them brighter. As a eye pencil, I'm actually gonna use a lip pencil and this is Current by MAC, which is one of my favorite colors lately. It's this deep burgundy color, which I can't find in any eyeliner, so that's why I'm using a lip liner instead. And I'm gonna push it right um, close to the lashes, uh, the upside one, and also in the bottom part of the eye, uh, just in the outside corner. In the inner waterline, I'm gonna add this waterproof eyeliner by Bourjois in this purple color. It's now time to blend the uh, liner, so I'm using always a MAC brush, this is 216 as a bullet brush and outside as well, sorry, um, the bottom part as well I'm gonna blend and to make everything deeper I'm gonna use the purple eyeshadow you saw before. Which Thank you. 
as mascara I'm using uh, the L'Oreal Miss Manga mascara to have these very thick and full lashes and I'm gonna apply top and bottom lashes We're now going to add some concealer and I'm using the D4 from my Kryolan Concealer Palette under the eyes and a bit um, around the nose. I'm applying it with the Deluxe Rich Blush Barrier Techniques. And to make everything brighter, I'm going to use this uh, highlighting pen by L'Oreal Paris, um, Lumi Magique, and the color is number 2 medium. So we're going to put it under the eyes in little strokes and we're going to blend everything with a uh, soft blending brush. We are gonna make kind of a triangle under our eyes. So we're gonna blend the, the product and we're gonna extend it uh, towards the temple to give us this really bright look effect under our eyes. Lashes. I'm using a MAC number no. 6 eyelashes and some duo glue and I'm gonna pop them on Contour. I'm gonna do a cream contour using Groundwork Paint Pot by MAC which is this lovely muddy brown color which is perfect, perfect for a very natural soft contour so I'm gonna apply with the flat um, foundation brush uh, in a line that goes from the top part of the ear towards your uh, corner of the mouth and I'm gonna blend everything towards the temple upwards I'm now setting everything in place with the powder and I'm using a really light powder which is the Mineral Light Skin Finish by MAC in the color medium. As a blusher to match everything, I'm using this deep burgundy shade in the color Victorian Rose from my Ben Nye palette. I'm just pushing it into the um, uh, middle of the cheeks and then blending it upwards towards the temples. Lipstick I'm using Diva by MAC which is a matte finish and I'm gonna apply straight from the bullet to make everything more precise after with the uh, lip brush. Once you uh, finish applying the lipstick, uh, let's move into the pencil and I'm using Current which I used before on the eyes, I'm just gonna make the shape more perfect and when I do lips uh, or when you do lips at home, always make sure you check it into a mirror in front of you uh, because you can really tell if there is any um, mistake and you can really check your symmetry. So after I finish the look uh, with the pencil, uh, I checked everything into the camera and I went uh, back to correct some mistakes I had made. Well guys, this was Ariana when we started before. And that's Ariana after, so with the makeup look completed. I really hope you liked the tutorial, this new trend for fall, which I think is super sexy. It's easy to realize and also if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the, ch to the channel. It really means a lot to me as this takes loads of time to make video. And so I will love if someone will show um, some kind of um, love for me, for what I do. Thank you. See you to the next one. Bye bye.